Mark Lepresti and I are delighted to join you guys and give you some insights into uh, cryptocurrency, fear and greed, supply and demand. What we're going to try to do is unravel all of this for the Money Show audience, the Money Show Nation, as I have come to lovingly refer to it. Cryptocurrencies making that lift like it did from basically just before the election when it was 10,000 to uh, running all the way to 64,800 just a couple weeks ago. There are some pretty basic principles, some of which we've shared with you on Money Show segments before that can help explain what's going on and have you prepared for the next big price movement. Most of you would probably say, well, if I wanna buy it, I'm gonna buy one or I'm gonna buy a fraction of one, which you can do, of course. You can break a Bitcoin into a million different pieces, folks. They call those sats or satoshis. Uh, trying to help folks understand how the smart money trades. So if I, if I wanna trade the vol in Bitcoin, what instrument would I use if I went to one of those exchanges? Within the next three to five years, we will see Bitcoin closer to a million than it is today. Um, that's my prediction. It's that institutional acceptance of a new asset, new security, new asset class drives upside appreciation and value. Always, always. Anybody wants to learn more about that, you'll see John and I in Orlando. We hope you're all there. You know, come hit us up. We'll be happy to talk about it.